I'm at joomla.kineticoinc.com. This is the finished state of the Joomla 3 Essential Training course. And I just wanted to take a look at the old navigation bar that I had here. So before, what I was able to do was I was able to mouse over some of these navigation items that have secondary navigation. And I had a drop down menu that I was able to use here on this website. This was driven by the Protostar template. In my custom template, Right now, what I have is the navigation bar, the HTML for that we just added in the previous video, but I don't have these drop down menus. And the reason why is that the drop down menu styling, drop downs are actually built into Bootstrap, the ability to have the drop downs, but the specific drop down implementation that you have here inside of Protostar is part of the Protostar template itself. So if you like the drop downs here, why not we just borrow from those and make those appear on my website? Why reinvent the wheel? Why try to figure out the whole bootstrap drop down implementation? Let's just borrow from Protostar and borrow the CSS from there and then incorporate that into our template. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this particular video. So back here in Dreamweaver, I am going to go open up file open the Protostar CSS. So I'm going to go to my Protostar folder and I'm going to go to the CSS folder and I'm going to go to template.css. And this is all of the HTML that's making up the Protostar template. What I can do now is I'm going to do a find for some kind of .nav followed by .nav child because in the Protostar template, the HTML is marked up this way, and this is where the drop down menus are located. So I'm going to go ahead and find this here inside of the Protostar template CSS. And where I'm interested in starting is right here at line 6186. So this says dot navigation dot nav child. And this goes on for quite a while. There's several styles that are associated with these drop down menus, and we're going to need to get all of this. So we're going to scroll on down through the page here. At line 6278 is a media query. We're going to stop just before that. All of this code that is located here all has to do with the drop down menus. So I'm going to copy all of this, Control or Command C to copy. And then I'm going to switch over to my custom.css style sheet. And I'm going to put in a little comment here that says, this is the code for drop down menus taken from Protostar. And after that, I'm going to control or command V. And so I've pasted in all of those styles that I took from Protostar. So this should make our drop down menus work, right? If you can't go through and find this particular CSS inside of the Protostar style sheet, by all means, I've given you a free exercise file that has a copy of the Protostar CSS in it. And I have another file that I'll give you that has the copy of my modified Protostar styles because we're going to need to modify these a little bit. So if I just say file save, and I'm going to go back to Firefox, and I'm going to hit refresh, absolutely nothing happens. Why is that? Well, if we view the source for this web page and we scroll on down here to our navigation bar in the HTML, you will see that we have our nav appears up here at the top, right? Our nav tag. But nowhere in here is a class of navigation. If you read through all of this code, nowhere will you find a class of navigation all spelled out. Which that means is the CSS that I just copied over is looking for a class of navigation all spelled out. I don't have it here. What I do have that I can work with is this right here. Nav is an HTML tag that I can use. And then the items that have these drop down navigation bars, if I scroll over here to the right, here's the about tag. The UL here that is forming the drop down for the about part of the web page, the UL has a class of nav child. So that is used in the style that we just copied over from the Protostar template. So if I change those styles from dot navigation to just nav, the HTML tag, that CSS should then take effect on this web page. By the way, if you'd like to have your code wrap here inside of this window, if you go to view, wrap long lines, you might find your HTML a little bit easier to read. OK, so now I'm going to go to Dreamweaver here. And everywhere in this CSS that I just copied and pasted over, 
where it says dot navigation, I want to change that to nav. And I can use find and replace to do that. So if you do a control or command F, you'll get a window that comes up that will find dot navigation. I'm going to replace it with nav. And you can just hit replace all if you're feeling brave. I like to review each one of these and make sure I really do want to change it. So I'm going to hit replace, replace, replace. And I'm just going to go through my list here and replace these instances of navigation with the nav tag. So that's all I've done. I've just made sure that my CSS selector matches the HTML I'm actually working with. All right, so now that that change is made, if I say File, Save, and I go back to my Firefox website and I hit the Refresh button, it looks like my navigation has disappeared. Now when I roll my mouse over, exactly as expected, I have these dropdowns, and they look and they function exactly the way that they did inside of Protostar. So that is how we've gotten our navigation dropdowns back. Now all we need to do is style those along with styling our navbar.